Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 47th episode of World Trigger. So, last episode, uh, we had you actually knock Murakami into the water and stab him as he was swirling around and stuff. It was a really pretty interesting tactic. We have Rei, you know, Nasu still doing her best to have her team not lose. And we have, uh, you know, I totally remember the name, main character of the, of the show. Just give me a second. <laughs> Uh, Mikamo. Yeah, Mikamo. He's also rushing towards the battle, so the way the way the last episode ended off, we're basically trying to heavily imply that this episode is the final episode. We're having our big climax in that general area. So, thank you. Because we have very few people left in this this battle, so this should be decisive, as, he, as Mikamo said. So, let's get into it. Three, two, one, play. You know, forgetting the main character's name was almost embarrassing enough for me to restart my intro, but not quite. But yeah, I think the match is basically down to Rei, Nasu, Mikamo, and the one member of Suzunari that's left. Because I know you must, I think he's still alive, but he's like not near the fight, so he's kind of irrelevant. So, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Mikamo ought to be pretty clever to get, get something out of that. That was such a cool stab. That's a cool wall run. I mean, honestly, watching Rei Nasu fight, like, I couldn't believe she was A rank if she told me she was. No, the same for Murakami. Fire, Chica! Fire all the time. Just shoot random stuff. They'll never see it coming. Hounder. Yep, that's what ended off on last episode. The decisive moments. Taicho no Pride. Captain's Pride. Wow, double shields. She really is good. Well, <laughs> he did not last as long as I thought he would in this episode. Now it's down to just Mikamo and Ray. Or maybe just Mikamo. <laughs> That's quite a gift. That's pretty pretty clever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she did get hit there, so But she can still attack, so be careful. And she really is good. <laughs> And now Mikamo's damaged more. Well. Well. <laughs> wow, that really did end a lot faster than I thought it would. Now it's just down to her and uh, Yuma. Who also got here faster than I thought. So yeah, my predictions basically sucked for this episode. Uh, I mean, aside from the prediction that it would end with this episode. The battle. Yeah, you're already done for. Uh, can Yuma, like, get the kill real quick and get the point, or... No, it's too late. There's really no point in Yuma even going over there. Yeah, so they got the point for that. So they got two points total. Now we got one point. 
So, yeah, Tom Pacombo is looking at the most points. Nice. Good job. Yeah, <laughs> very impressive from her. I think she was the real MVP of the overall battle. <laughs> yeah. A little bit greedy. And now, back together. You have nothing to apologize for. You did fantastic out there. Yeah, you you have the right to be proud. Don't cry, Akane. Not more crying. <sighs> Meanwhile, back at Susanari. <laughs> I guess that is something you can brag about. He's going for a swim. You hesitated before you gave that answer. I noticed that. Yeah, good to have my arm back. Good job staying alive, Chica. I wish you would just put that, that hoge down. Maybe ch chop it off. So they really were banking on that. Makes sense. Yeah, what are your thoughts? <laughs> I know that feeling. I was expecting at least a 10 minute long battle between the three of them, but I, I wasn't right. I was completely wrong on that. That was a big difference. The biggest factor. I mean, they got plenty of points, so... That was worth a bridge breaking. Yeah. True enough. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that was still, I forgot about that part of it. Yeah, the grasshopper usage was really great. And stab it. We'll show it again. There we go. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Get Red's Co. That's very true. Well said. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
I I figured. <laughs> uh, awkward. I bet it was. Yeah. And she ran out of Treon, so... If there's one thing you understand, it would be that, yes. Interesting way to put it. The episode's called The Captain's Pride, and I was curious exactly who it was referring to. I mean, I would assume Ray, but... Or it could just be more general. Uh <sighs> spent more time with the uh you know aftermath commentary than we did finishing up the match. I did like the little blush from our female commentator when, uh, when Jean and Kay had a little talk. Nice. <laughs> well, you would expect that to be the case. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that one will definitely be hard fought. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, I hope so. We too will score. It doesn't that doesn't sound like right grammar to me, but I'm not sure. It sounds weird. Yes, thank you. I think both of us would be a better way to put it. <laughs> Dirty. Yeah, she has quite a bang.
lukewarm commentary. I mean, they still won, you know. Well, what matters is that they won, so take that. And then you say it takes can take that away. Well, the fact is that they are a team, so... What matters is team results. <laughs> and good firepower. Demolition's still pretty useful. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Nasu. Good game. A pretty high praise. And it means a lot coming from her. <laughs> yes. Listen to Kuma. There you go. Oh, the line! Of course they are. <laughs> uh, okay. Good enough reason, I suppose. <laughs> that's that's surprising. Oh, okay. Close enough. <laughs> uh good job. A bit. <laughs> That'd be something. Do they have underwater stages? Just got a bunch of snacks in her arms. Ah, uh, so it wasn't so much a choice as a... Oh! Wow. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad, but... Ah, uh, so we're gonna have this. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, they're both still get along. And we're finally back home. Feels like it's been forever. High praise from Konami. Oh right, yeah, the uh, the enemy. I'm not gonna believe that. <laughs> oh poor Konami. <laughs> uh, let's try again. <laughs> not everyone's as gullible as you, or me. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, rage is off something like that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Konami would know you my best. You know, aside from Mikamo. It's such a cool base, it really is. Cool view of the water. But yeah, you still have a walkway to leave. Well, there's a big power difference between you and Nasu, so it makes sense. But I can see how that could be a bit disheartening. <laughs> That's really dangerous to just flip the phone open like that, you could just drop it. Number six. That's really good. Yeah, who's the next opponent? That's what matters. Ah, uh, of course it's that guy. Yeah. To be continued. <laughs> you did say something like that, yeah. Not the best impression ever, but... The flipping letters are very distracting. <laughs> Those are good maneuvers to use, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. I don't think gene strategies are quite for us. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah, that was the 47th episode of World Trigger. And this episode, we finally finished off our three-way battle between Tamakoma 2, Suzunari, and the Inasu. And I thought it would take a bit longer than that. I was expecting at least half an episode, but no, it was like three minutes and it was basically done. Because we had uh, Mikamo, Nasu, and the final member of Suzunari, I never remember any of their names, aside from Ko. And they were all facing off, and they had some attacking back and forth. Yeah, I didn't bail out, but his attack hit her after he bailed out. And you have Mikamo attacking at the right time, but he gets attacked anyway and bails out. And, and she bails out from the previous attack, and basically Yuma and Chika are the only ones left. But they get survival points for that. So that makes a difference. They didn't get a lot of kill points, you know. I think they only got one kill point from Yuma attacking Ko underwater. So, yeah, that's it's good that they got points for that. So... That is literally what saved them, and I guess that's what they were banking on to begin with, and that's pretty smart. Because Chica, the strategy is obviously to keep Chica out of sight, out of mind for the most part. Because, you know, as the one guy said, uh, Ichi no Mio, whatever he's called himself, whatever that, that, whatever that was called. 
Yeah, he apparently, apparently he realized that Chica can't shoot people. Which, I can't remember if we've... That sounds familiar, but I don't know if we actually talked about that before. But yeah, if that's the case, then that's a bad thing for him to know. Because I know they've talked about Chica and her issues before, but I don't remember if that's what they said. But either way, it makes sense, because Chica's a good girl. You know, she wouldn't want to have to shoot people. So, that's why she just shoots buildings and knocks them on people. So that's better. But, you know, it, it is something she's going to have to get over eventually, probably. But... But yeah, we do have to start worrying about our next, uh, our next, our next round. You know, our, the teams we're gonna battle. So that'll be interesting. And yes, it's good that there doesn't need to be any hard feelings between our teams. You know, like Nasu team straight up walked up to Tomakoma too, and you know, congratulated them and praised Mikamo for his good, good captain abilities and all that. And yeah, that was really cool. Really cool. It was sad seeing Akane cry for the seven thousandth time in the show, but you know, it's it's all good. Yeah. Uh, Arafuna talked to Ko, which is also pretty cool. Okay, my cat has demanded to come in for a while. I'm going to let him in real quick. Okay. Where was I? I think I was talking about Ko. But, uh, yeah, pretty much after the match ended, we had our commentators give some I don't remember exactly what it's called, you know, post-mortem commentary, I don't know. But basically talk about the match after it's over, strategies everyone used, whether they were good strategies or bad strategies. And they kind of mentioned the idea that you can't completely base the strategy's merit off of the result, because things just happen sometimes. But, uh, you know, she was, some of the things she was saying was just for the sake of commentary. It's not like she's actually, you know, that ignorant about such matters. So that little bit of awkwardness there with Jean explaining that and her blushing slightly was great. One of the highlights of the episode. Another highlight was just Konami being cute trying to lie to Mikamo and them, but it didn't work because they're not as gullible as she is. And, then, and she tried both Netsuki, I think his name was, and Mikamo's mom. Now the one worked. And then Kiyosuke says, hey, I'll, I can teach you how to lie better. Really? No. Good, 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 good. So yeah, I definitely appreciate those moments quite a bit. But... Uh, but yeah, it's it feels like that match just took a while to go. Like that was probably the longest match of the the B ranking wars so far, I would say. I it, if you're curious about my cat that I let in, that would be that would be him. You know? This uh this kitty say hello. Say hello. Hello. I'm a cat. Okay, yeah, that's that's him. But yeah, pretty pretty good match. And, uh, yeah, the next one should be even harder. Like, I was pretty sure they were going to win this one because it's a little bit earlier for them to fail. But, you know, we're getting close to the end, and the chance of them failing is getting a bit higher. So, definitely a bit more risk to our later later rounds here. Especially if people are trying to figure out kind of the weaknesses of their team, like the fact that they have rely heavily on Yuma, the fact that Chica can't shoot people, the fact that Mikamo is not very good at fighting one-on-one, -on -one at, you know... Like, he's individually weaker than pretty much any other B-rank member for the most part. These are some pretty serious weaknesses that they can, you know, usually overcome with good teamwork and strategy and stuff. But they are weaknesses nonetheless, and people can exploit that with their own strategies. So, yeah, definitely something to worry about. But yeah, hopefully things go well for them in the, in the future. I was wrong, but thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoky for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.